All right, I'm going to record a video of uh, my attempted repair of a mower deck here. Basically, it's a friend of mine's. Um, basically, the wheel caught on something, pulled out. It was on something like that. And uh, pulled it out. I believe there was some JB weld there, maybe an attempted repair. It looks like it came off again. Um, so, yeah, we'll give it a shot. I'm basically going to cut all this out. And then I'm put some sheet metal in. I'll weld it, bang it to uh, to shape, and then uh, you know weld it all in, and then smooth it out, and then put the wheel on would be the next step. So yeah, hopefully it should be a quick one. Um, I went ahead and marked just some general parameters here. Um, I'm not going to cut to this, but um, that'll give me an idea of where the wheel was. I also marked down here an area where I'm not going to cut. Um, just want to make sure the wheel is uh similar to the one that's gonna be that is down there yeah anyways so let me get to uh cutting this out and we'll come back first off shout out to prime time it's always good to be uh in style when you're grinding All right, so I was unable to get close enough to this, uh, the bottom part here to connect the cut because of this lip. So I'm gonna use the Sawzall, finish it out. All right, we got a hole. So I've got my uh, patch here, you can see a pretty good fit. Want a little bit of gap, of course. So I did uh, kind of bevel the edges. It's, this is a uh, one eighth material and same as the deck. Pretty thick actually, I was surprised. So it was helpful when I was trimming out this uh, pattern, this patch, to indicate where the outside was and where which way is up. Just simply because every time I would shape it or grind it or smooth it out, if it fell, I didn't know which way was which. And uh, so yeah, little tip there. So it does curve up here a little bit. All I did was just kind of stick it in the vise, just this edge, and kind of bend it a little bit. So it's not gonna be perfect, but it's a lawnmower deck. We'll go ahead and tack her up. Be right back. So the plan of attack is to hit it from the bottom here. Get it tacked in the bottom. And uh, I want this to be a little bit proud, um, so I'll tack it, I'll move my little clamp out of the way and kind of bend it in a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty good fit up. I just want it to be, you know, flush on the bottom just in case it'll be easier to kind of bang it down versus pulling it up. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, get get it set up. I've got the uh, Millermatic 211 set at, looks like around six and a half. And uh, I think it called for a 70 wire speed, but um, I'm typically, I uh, always find that's a little fast for me. I'll try not to get in the way of the camera, but just like everybody says, it's a little hard to weld and film at the same time. Let's see what we can do here. Now, what I don't know is, I, ha I don't know that I have a good ground. Um, I may have to move the ground over here, but we'll see if it's uh, sufficient enough. There's a little rusty spot over there.
So I keep melting this side. This could be a little thinner. When I, when I measured the part that I took out, it was one eighth. Um, this is definitely one eighth. So I think this is gonna be a little thicker perhaps than this, but I think we're, we're good to start welding. So I'll focus most of my heat on this plate and go out to the, uh, the outside there. Got a little bit more gap than I would want normally. Turn everything down just a little bit. So well, I can see it still burning away, but I build up the puddle and it builds up over here. So I think we're gonna may turn it down just a little bit, although we may be cold on that side. So maybe we'll leave it there. I think for what we're doing here, we're gonna be fine. All right, so it looks really, really ugly, but that's okay, I'm gonna grind it anyways. Um, I'm gonna to try to shift the camera around here. All right, so of course I feel self-conscious about my welding. I wanna have a beautiful, continuous weld. It's just not working here, um, so I don't care. It's gonna be effective. So I'm just gonna basically hit some short sections and get it done, grind it down, it'll be fine. She ugly, but it's gonna work. Current status. Sorry, I got the uh, bracket all cleaned up, got the epoxy all off of it. I used a propane torch, kind of heated it up, scraped right off. Uh, got a grinder and got some of the part that you know, some of the metal cleaned up a little bit and uh, beveled it a little bit, and I think we're pretty much in line with, look at that one over there. That one could be bent a little bit. There's that view. And there's that view. This should be straight up and down like this, so the wheel tracks straight. All right, so let me weld that piece on. Here we go. Trying to get back up in this corner. It's gonna be ugly, but it may be good enough to hold. All right, here's my ugly weld for the weld police. There you go, a little close up. Basically, I started here, there, stopped. I think I almost burned through a little bit, picked it up. So not pretty there, not pretty anywhere. But uh, here's the factory welds on the other one. I'm at least as good as that, right? But uh, anyways, I'll clean it up, hit it with some paint, and we're done. Quick, I was going to build a uh, piece that went from here to there uh, just to further kind of brace this, but I don't think it's needed. Um, if he has any issues with this, I'll just re redo it and uh, add it at that time. By the way, that's what it looks like from the underside. I almost forgot to show the uh, final product. So there it is. I'll paint it up. Ugly welds and all. Thanks for watching.